Microangiopathic Hemolytic Anemia, Wikipedia Article Audio In medicine microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is a microangiopathic subgroup of hemolytic anemia caused by factors in the small blood vessels. It is identified by the finding of anemia and schistocytes on microscopy of the blood film. Presentation Pathophysiology Diagnosis Treatment In diseases such as hemolytic uremic syndrome, disseminated intravascular coagulation, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, and malignant hypertension, the endothelial layer of small vessels is damaged with resulting fibrin deposition and platelet aggregation. As red blood cells travel through these damaged vessels, they are fragmented resulting in intravascular hemolysis. The resulting schistocytes are also increasingly targeted for destruction by the reticuloendothelial system in the spleen, due to their narrow passage through obstructed vessel lumina. It is seen in systemic lupus erythematosus, where immune complexes aggregate with platelets, forming intravascular thrombi. Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is also seen in cancer. Automated analyzers are generally programmed to flag blood films that display red blood cell fragments or schistocytes. In all causes, the mechanism of MAHA is the formation of a fibrin mesh due to increased activation of the system of coagulation. The red blood cells are physically cut by these protein networks. The resulting fragments are the schistocytes observed in light microscopy. Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia results in isolated increase in serum bilirubin levels. Unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia above 15% is present. The differential diagnoses are rifampicin or probenicid use, inherited disorders like Gilbert's syndrome and other hemolytic disorders. The treatment include, folic acid, corticosteroids, transfusion therapy, erythropoietin therapy, and these are subject to very based individual physician or hematologist decision who carries out the therapy hence adhering to their protocol is of utmost benefit in terms of prognosis. Diagnosis, Anemia Increased Lactate Dehydrogenase Increased indirect bilirubin Decreased haptoglobin Increased urine urobilinogen Increased reticulocyte count